Uh, 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 Great, great content, great quality. Co we haven't even started the fucking intro yet. <laughs> but you know me. Usually I put something in the beginning before the uh, intro comes up. Yeah, but it usually only lasts for like five seconds, and it's usually just kind of coherent. But no. It's just gonna. Dr <laughs> well, let's just do the intro at like the very fucking end. <laughs> Treat all of this as if it's that beginning scene. <laughs> it's like uh, when we did uh, episode uh, seven, was it episode six or seven? You know, the one that wasn't aired because it was just too awesome. Oh yeah, it was, it, I thought I thought it was lost. You told me it was lost, Blobby. Are you keeping secrets from me? No, oh, but don't you remember? Don't don't you remember when we had that slowly, intro with slowly Blobby? raises up what? gun? What are you hiding, bitch? It, it was that intro that took literally like forty eight hours because I flew <laughs> to Hawaii and back. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that when Cass got his dick stuck in the toaster? Uh no, I think that was uh I think that was like after <laughs> most, most likely, but then again, it's uh, he lives in Vegas, so I, that's kind of like a daily occurrence as far as I am aware. <laughs> it's an ancient tradition that spans back my centuries. My microphone keeps blaring up the volume. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off my fan first. <laughs> it, just, it doesn't want to stay down. It's like <laughs> oh, audio here. <laughs> Let's just break the eardrums of everybody. I can't even, like, hear a spike. You just sound normal. Yeah, but for the recording, it's completely different. Well, then. It's bad enough that my chair likes to speak <laughs> every other movement that I make, too. Pissing me off. Are we actually... <laughs> hold on, hold on, so, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go oh, on. Oh, okay. We're about, uh, like, two or three minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great so far. I know. Nobody right? has clicked off. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Council Podcast, starring uh, me, Blobby Gobster. And, and me, Assassin, Assassin Cardinal. Cardinal. <laughs> He's not going yeah. to accuse. We're never going to get a. We're never going to get a radio talk show ever. <laughs> so, um, here's the deal. The past yeah. couple of weeks, not you. The last couple of weeks. Um, we haven't really been keeping up well with the whole entire recording schedule. We have been releasing it every Friday, but we have not been keeping up with the schedule like we're supposed to. And, uh... What is order? Because of that, um, we've had really weird days where we would, uh, record the podcast. But, I mean, it kind of works because we're, like, we're recording it when something big happens. Especially with uh, Assassin's Creed, and recently oh, yeah. we uh, <laughs> received some more news about yeah. Odyssey, and I'm not calling it Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm calling it Odyssey, and I'll tell you why in a second. Everyone's but, being so mean to Odyssey. I feel like the outcast. <laughs> but on on but we'll get to that in a second. So <laughs> what I so I want to point out right now that this is uh, Tuesday, almost Wednesday. Um, <coughs> it's around 11.45 right now. We are recording this yeah. at midnight, and around midnight's the time when I start thinking more clearly, which means I'm also <laughs> able to start acting dumb, and Carter is That's just good. gonna start turning into Carter on steroids. Catherine. Catherine. No. Carter on steroids. So, uh. a couple things. First of all, um, on this date, I just released a video that Car Carter and I made immediately <laughs> immediately after we recorded last. We recorded episode two. 
<laughs> he bamboozled me into being on his channel. <laughs> exactly. Um, I actually want to try and do that another time. Probably continue that. Because somebody made a comment like, please, for the love of God, tell me that there's more like this. I'm just like, <laughs> hmm, I'm at 102 subscribers now. Better start listening to the audience. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Reckon in that sweet YouTube money. You probably noticed last podcast, if you were actually watching the video for a little bit, not putting this on like... On just audio, which you normally do on, for a on the back on the back burner, literally exactly. on, on the, the back, back burner. burner. Just You're put your phone mac on. And cheese, and then you just place it right on the back burner. <laughs> your otter case Boom. just starts melting in, and then it becomes this like pocket of air, and then yeah, um, plastic everywhere. It's in the it's in the charging <laughs> slot. You have to. You have to... It's still delicious, though. Yeah. I mean, let's yeah, face I mean... it. You're not just gonna wait. You're not just gonna waste that delicious phone. Exactly. I mean, you, you get it. <laughs> a little bit of salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of paprika, smoked paprika is. Oh, uh, I just, I just like my phone, just straight phone. Straight yeah. phone. Straight phone. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's interesting. Just straight phone. I've never, yeah, I've it's, never it's... met anybody who uh, likes it... straight phone before. It's an acquired taste, admittedly. You know. What does it taste like, though? Because all I know is uh, when it's seasoned. Phone. phone. <laughs> It tastes like foam. Uh, well, well, what else would it taste like, Blobby? Um, Twinkies. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it it tastes like that when uh when it's seasoned. <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about? So, <laughs> let, me to, let me get back to the. Uh, there's a complete talking. right angle. So if if you were listening to last week's podcast, um, you may have also noticed that there was a segment where you were actually able to watch the podcast as well. And by watch, I mean terrible gameplay of two separate games, um, <laughs> especially one that I've played like six times through now and didn't even know how to complete one of the easiest missions ever, which was that machine gun mission in Brotherhood. So after <laughs> after I discovered that my uh, capture card from my PlayStation was able to uh, transverse also into Hangouts as one of the cameras that I can use, um, that's how I started using the whole. Um, that's how you got all that footage during the podcast. Even though I, you know I could have just you know recorded it with this and then just edited it on, but um, it got me thinking. Um, after we finished that podcast, Carter and I were just like. We're just sitting in a hangout chat. We weren't really talking that much. I was off <laughs> doing whatever in my house, and he was sitting there. Um, and <laughs> I, I came pizza. back. <laughs> I came back, and my like, Carter, I have an idea. And he's like, what? <laughs> and I said, I want to oh, – crap, whatever. Um, I want to uh, – I want to try something. He's like, okay. And I said, I'm going to – I'm going to – Record myself playing Brotherhood, and you're going to be in it as well, and I'm just going to get your reaction. He's like, cool. <laughs> so it took me about like 30 minutes to get another program that I could just use to capture Which, the by sound. That which by that point I had completely forgotten what you were doing, and then you told me, oh, we're up, by the way, you're on the air. I was like, oh, fuck, am I on your channel? <laughs> Shit, how do I, I uh, escape? <laughs> I, um, I set up this, I got this program that allowed me to, like, only uh, export audio. So that's how I got Carter's voice in there. So, and I started recording myself, as usual, playing Brotherhood. Only problem was is that um, when I tried to do the same thing that I did with Hangouts by showing the capture card through the, uh, through the call... <laughs> it didn't work so <laughs> so the problem was uh the most vital part of my uh experiment wasn't working <laughs> so i'm just like the next best thing is to just repeat everything that just give happened up. to carter <laughs> yes give up no just repeat everything <laughs> that happens to carter and see how he reacts but then i realized i don't want to be a dick so I'm not going to repeat everything that happened. <laughs> so I said, there's got to be a better way. And then I remember back to the good old days of Skype. I'm like, maybe I can share my screen. So I was able to start sharing my screen based off of the, oh God, <laughs> based off the oh God of recording screen. That's everything that I went through. Um, and so that whole setup 
on the fly took about like mm, an hour and a half maybe two just for like an hour's worth of gameplay that's been edited down into like 13 to 14 minutes <laughs> And the best part of the entire video, literally, we can just summarize the entire video in just one word. Sand. Sand. <laughs> it, was, it was the title of the video, too. It was the title of the video, too. Sand. Sand. Um, and, yeah. So, stuff like that. That's how our life works so far. Spontaneous yeah. idiocy. <laughs> and the talents that we've been given somehow. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And I don't know if it's going to happen again, but apparently uh, some people liked it. We'll have to wait after, like, <laughs> like, we'll have to wait until, like, Thursday to see the true thing. Which, because, like, I was surprised. Noob Slayer 69 is demanding I was, more. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was surprised uh, a couple of days ago because I just woke up and I got a notification saying, you have 100 subscribers, and I'm like, fuck, is this noise? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I don't, I don't agree. I don't know. And I look, I'm like, oh, I do have a hundred subscribers. Crap, I have a hundred subscribers. That's not much, but I mean, one of them is me. Crap. Looks like I'm gonna have yes. to start doing some stuff. Gotta get, gotta start focusing on this more. Um, and now I have to have more responsibility. So apparently, <laughs> that also involves paying attention to what people say and the, uh, one of my videos that like just only had about like and I, I'm sorry I'm, I'm not talking about what you should be talking about but <laughs> I, I was surprised because one of my videos just when I uploaded it it only got like around 10 views and then about the time I got the update saying that I got 100 subscribers I looked and there was like 179 views for the video <laughs> and I'm just like okay <laughs> The formula is add Carter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not talking about the uh, screen. I'm talking about the one that I had previously. So I'm just like, hmm, oh. well, okay. <laughs> Let's see how this works. If this works well, then um, crap my job. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens. There might be some more of that coming soon, most likely. It's yeah. Assassin's Creed stuff too. So yeah. steamed hams. Steam let's pan. uh let's talk mm. about some uh some of the big news that we heard uh from e3 more more so oh, yeah. the big news that you have told us and yeah. i have regrettably <laughs> not wanted to hear uh yeah i, I mean i'm excited <laughs> odyssey looks cool <laughs> I'm the o I've I've learned within these past couple days I'm the only person in this entire community that's like yeah okay <laughs> well no, I've seen one other I've seen one other YouTuber do, do you know the the YouTuber is it Fizz Fizzy Fishy <laughs> how do you, I I've only ever what, seen it I've never heard it what said what is that name I mean I don't I don't need to make fun of people with <laughs> their usernames because. He's, he, he's, he's a, but <laughs> it, it's F I Z H Y. He, he's a he's a YouTuber who covers like Assassin's Creed stuff, and I I like it. I like his stuff. Um, and he's the only other person I've seen who has kind of that same opinion. I mean, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll give it a chance. It seems like it could work. <laughs> and but then there's everyone else. Who's just like, oh, this is fucking garbage. Oh, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I think I should... Clear up. I think I think I should clarify on some things, because I know my reactions are kind of wonky at times. <laughs> Here's the thing. Every time a new Assassin's Creed is announced, um, I usually go, like, for the first, like, for the first week... <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like... The fuck is this? The fuck is that? <laughs> Bullshit. I don't give a crap. <laughs> and then I start making fun of it. But um I mean it's not like I'm like it's not like I'm gonna be like I'm protesting the game by being like one in the minority who's not gonna purchase this game. <laughs> um But however, like it is there's some weird aspects to it that just I don't know how it's going to work. Because 
Yeah. I, I just don't know. I feel, how I feel that. It, that's, I, I, like, that's, I, how I, it, that's how it started uh, to be for me, oh, honestly, when um, Syndicate came out. And uh, I feel like I now need to start bleeping it again because that's an inside joke. Here, Odyssey so. is made by the Syndicate team. Oh, God. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. You, uh, you just kind of made it a little bit worse. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, <laughs> it looks good. Around the time Syndicate came out was the time that I started questioning every year like whether or not the game was going to be good yeah. or not. I mean... Yeah. Let's let's be frank for a second. I know we've like talked about this all last season, but <laughs> we'll make sure that this is the one time that we talk about this. Syndicate was very boring for me, and I felt like it was more so like a pity party for Ubisoft <laughs> instead of an actual continuation of the series. Because when you lead yeah. off a game launch with, we're sorry that you guys didn't think Unity was as good as we thought it was. <laughs> Here's this bullshit again, but it's oh, uh, a hundred. Yeah. It's almost like ninety <laughs> years later, and um, yeah, trains, <laughs> <laughs> the rooks. <laughs> Um, stop laughing at everything I say. I, Anyways, <laughs> it, it, it was just very, it was very boring for me, and I didn't like the idea of that far into the uh, into the modern era um, yeah. with the engine that it was the game was running at the time. Um, I feel that that's fair. And of course, your arguments and statements as to why you don't like the game. As we all know, why you don't like the game. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it does it, not meet my estrogen levels criteria. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was, I was, I was very excited for when Unity came out. Even when there was when there was bugs, I still enjoyed it immensely because one of the main things about that game that I really enjoyed was the fact of being able to run around the overworld with three yeah. other friends and everything like that. Granted, after you yeah. complete any Assassin's Creed game, any Assassin's Creed game, um, and you just you complete almost every mission, you've done it like done a bunch of the co op missions and the heist missions till you like you, yeah. you you understand now what the meaning of life is. And then <laughs> and then you uh, like almost collect everything and you have almost every outfit and so you can run up to an army and just slaughter them with a single <laughs> firing of your pepper box gun. Um, yeah. I mean, it was still fun. I mean, I got a couple of videos out of it uh, with yeah. uh, some of the old guys. Um, so, I mean, it was fun for that. But, of course, it got boring afterward. But that's like every Assassin's, every Assassin's Creed game I've ever played. Except if yeah. I, you know, if I wanted to go and play it again, which I, which I have done with like yeah. the storyline and started new. Um, but yeah, when that. Syndicate came out, I never before said. When, when Syndicate came out, I never said with that game, I feel like replaying the story. I've never replayed yeah. the story. I've only played it once, and that was it. I was never, yeah, I never really touched here. that game that much. I never did that much with the collectibles anyway. I just got the, I got the well, Aegis, it, and then that was it, or the Aegis. I can't remember how. It's it's just so like unimpactful, like even just story wise, like it, it like it, it has it has almost zero ties to history stuff. So you can't even like say, oh, well, what if they made another game like this? You can like tie it back to, oh, this person was this allegiance. It was literally one year, almost. Zero history, anything to do with history stuff. Um, and like they just kind of shoved some characters into the setting, and there was like zero, nothing really built on the lore. It was just its own little story. You could take it out, and nothing would have changed. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess you can argue with like the Shroud of Eden stuff and the Project Phoenix, but like really, you, you still could have left it out. I mean, we knew what they were doing. It's not like. The Shroud Bean was essential to that. Right, yeah. And then, um, of course, when they um, <clears throat> when they came out with the Three Chronicles games, I didn't yeah. really play them that much. I mean, they're okay. Um, it's just, for some reason, I can't understand what's happening in that game just because... <laughs> It's I play not them every now and then. It's not, it's not presented in the, way, in the normal way, and it's kind of hard to deviate from, like, from yeah, the like... normal... Uh, running around, free running with uh, the 3D games, and then you go into this 2.5D, where you shift from plane to plane, and it, it just seems a little weird. 
Um, I, just, I guess I just kind of like the the feel of it. it's just like this kind of nice little world, this nice little story. Mm. I, I don't know. I guess I just kind of like it. So, like, um, I mean, yeah. it's 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 fine, but it, it's the thing is, is that it it never really captivated me. And uh, yeah, I, I, and that way. that's fair. That's um, fair. And so I don't. I mean, and the one thing I don't know if the story changed at all with like with uh, Nikolai. But that was yeah. like one character that I, I I was hoping that they were actually gonna make into <laughs> like an actual like 3D. Yeah. Actually, all three of those characters I was hoping they're gonna put into a 3D version of yeah. their story. But I guess I guess it never came around. I mean, I, I think they had a lot of potential by doing those three uh, those yeah. three characters in their own three games. Well, it's it's kind of a stepping stone when you think about it, because now it's like they've established that they can make they can make games out of characters that were just kind of side things before. Right, yeah. And, but I mean, still, I would like to see him to be in a 3d game. And also yeah. I would like to see Nikolai in his correct outfit, but you know, that's besides the point. that's just me being, you, you can, you can dye it to the white and it looks basically identical. Yeah. I, I know that <laughs> it's just, just me being my, just like for, just for, just for kicks and giggles. I go like the whole cinema sins route where I'm like, I love this, but I just want to rip on it for fun. <laughs> that's what that's that's basically with mindset with everything. <laughs> Not really. I, th- I but, think uh, the only the only three D Assassin's Creed game I've never played is Bloodlines, and I oh, really yeah, no, want to play. I haven't played that either because yeah. I, I don't have a PS portable, and I don't I don't have any of the emulators. Mm. So like, because I know there is I know it is available on an emulator of. I mean, I I, sort, I, 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 I kind of remember because because Loomer Loomer did a playthrough of it, and he he used an emulator. Mm. I mean, I, I, I kind of remember how the story goes, but it's just it's just basically Altair in at, in the middle in between like what we see in yeah. um in AC one, and then it goes all the way to the end of you know his time, which we do see yeah. revelations and so, some aspects of it. so. Well, it it only takes place for over a couple of years after right, yeah. the first game. Well, no, because it also because that book also it, it, the Secret Crusade also includes. It, no, the Secret Crusade goes actually through all of all tires. Yeah, it goes. From... Well, yeah, Secret Crusade includes Bloodlines. Yeah, but okay, yeah. so you're talking about Bloodlines going through. Okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the book. My bad. Um, but to continue on, with I haven't what played said, the book yet. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but, uh, continuing on with what I'm saying, so Chronicles, yeah. Um, I forgot to mention Rogue. Rogue was actually pretty interesting. I think it, yeah. I mean, I'm playing it right now as we're talking. Um, but <laughs> I, I think they could have made it a little bit bigger, yeah. in my opinion. Um, made the story a little bit bigger. I mean, granted, yeah. it was a game that basically bridged the gap, but, or, first of all, finished the, would... Ken, the Kenway storyline, basically, and then bridged the gap between... Uh, Unity and the whole colonial line. Yeah. See, the difference between Rogue... Rogue doesn't have a lot of historical stuff either, but the difference between, Ro- with difference between Rogue and Syndicate is that Rogue can make up for that because it still does incorporate that history stuff because you still get to see like battles and shit like that just enough, and it has a good story too to pull it through and make up for the stuff they leave. Like, I was really hoping for, like, the Battle of Montreal, where, like, we go, you know, that big famous battle of the Seven Years' War, but... Uh... Yeah, I think they could have branched out a little bit more on that. Yeah. And then, um... And then after Syndicate came Origins. Yeah. And when Origins was coming out, the only thing that I was skeptical about was the fact that they were going all the way back into ancient Egypt and how yeah, they were that... going to make that work. People, Especially people, are, when, still, people and, are still debating about that yeah, <laughs> and the and, canon issue. <laughs> and yeah, ex- ex- that that was the other issue I had. Um, and then, uh, I mean, when the game came out, it was all right. But again, the same uh, stuff with Assassin's Creed was always there. After you finish basically everything, there's nothing else to do. Um, yeah. The only thing you can do is wait for DLC. And once you complete all the DLC stuff that you can, then there's nothing really else to do after that. Um, the... Uh, only other thing that I that was new with me was just the annoyance of the farm system. Oh um, yeah, that one. yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't really like that, and this, especially the one thing I didn't like was the fact that uh, 
the hidden blade. I mean, granted, I, I like the idea of only being able to use the hidden blade when you're doing stealth, of course. It, it, it works It works on paper, but, like... Yeah. Once, once you have to deal with, like, the major targets and shit, and, like... Yeah, you, it's like... You can... Like, I, I remember... What, what was the one guy who was in, like... The, it was, like, the city that was buried on, in the sand and shit, and it was he... Uh, the, uh... Ooh, what the was scarab, his name? The Scarab. The Scarab, yeah. I remember I, I, I tried... <laughs> Cause I'm an impatient, I'm an I'm an impatient little shit, and I, so I I think I was like three levels behind what he was, and I did everything right. I still all the way through, and I like I was like on the rooftop. I was in a perfect angle. I leap down, and it only takes out like half his health, and then I'm suddenly sworn by guards, and I die. <laughs> I'm like shit. Yeah, the, 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 the whole like the whole series of Assassin's Creed is based off of the idea that I mean I mean granted it's based off the idea that like you can go against the an army if you need to but you also can you you're yeah. a one man army you're able to stealth your way through you're able to fight your way through and I kind of like yeah. that idea. Um, it is because the game does because the game because I mean y- even though a lot of people like the combat system in Origins. Yeah. Um, I still like the combat um, systems from the older games, even up to like Unity, uh, because yeah. although it may be like one man army, it should not. It may not seem like it's Assassin's Creed. It's not, the game doesn't revolve around that combat system all the time. Because yeah, if you're, yeah, if you're always getting true. into fights, then that's like you're not playing it right. <laughs> um, in my yeah, opinion, it, it is. Say. Counter kill is kind of just the just kind of get through it. Yeah. Um. And then uh, one more thing I wanted to say yeah. going through all this. Um, the Ezio Collection, the remastering of all the Ezio games. <laughs> now, don't, get, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, my whole we- entire fan, my, my whole entire, like, fandom, my whole entire obsession with Assassin's Creed was cemented when Assassin's Creed 2 came out. Yeah. Or, and more so with Brotherhood. Yeah. Um, and, I mean... So these, we we all games, the, we all games. know it was really just a cash grab, but I mean it's at the <laughs> no, I mean, But uh, and uh, so I mean I'm not that big of a fan of Ezio. I mean when the games were out, of course I was a fan of Ezio. Um, yeah. But after more and more games came out, I'm just like, yeah, Ezio was all right. Um, <laughs> but He's making cool. the Ezio collection, um, is kind of like a uh, it's like. It's a love-hate relationship with that, because... Because um, <laughs> we know it's a cash grab. Because we know it's a but, cash but, grab. And it's, it's a, and it's <laughs> like, why do we need Ezio again? I mean, <laughs> and it's like, you don't think that... If you if you release the Ezio collection, it's not really going to help with making gamers... Excuse me. Gamers hungry for the next Assassin's Creed. You may have taken two years off for release of a new game, but you still gave us a game during the year. Yeah. <laughs> um, three games during the year. Three games and two uh, yeah. two animations. But, um, so, it, yeah, there's, like, those negativity things. But, I mean, uh, now we, I mean, now we have the, now people who um, don't have a PlayStation 3 yeah. are able to play the Ezio games. Yeah. Um. And so then they're able to understand like how this franchise basically cemented itself as a major franchise. But the one thing, the the one thing besides the other stuff that I've already mentioned, the one thing that w- made me skeptical about the release of this was why aren't we getting a re like not a remaster but a remake of Assassin's Creed One in one of the newer engines like the the uh, like the. Uh, <laughs> I've heard rumors they're they're remastering AC One. Well, not remaster, remake. Cause uh, like remasters when you just update the lighting, and everything like that, and keep it all the same. But I mean like remake, yeah. as in like they remake Assassin's Creed One in one of the in one of the um one of the newer <coughs> engines. Yeah. Um, the storyline is not as that. like linear and simplistic as it is where you're just like go to a city. Find the target, kill the target, rinse, repeat. Like it actually, it it does ha- yeah. include some sort of like, um, cinematic 
like story driven, you know, storyboard yeah. driven sort of thing. I guess. Um, yeah, that'd be, that'd be all right. I don't know. Because AC One is a very specific. Like it's like it's very specifically AC one. If you know, like the yeah, style. I understand that, but I mean, the, like, so I don't, I don't know. I, I, I guess we would have. And I mean, but also, not a lot of people play AC one. Yeah, that's true. J- well, Jake, you and, and you heard like, Jacob rant about AC one. <laughs> I actually haven't, so I'll have to ask him about that. But uh, so it it for other people who are who haven't played it yet, but just want to know the story. I mean, yeah. I can kind of see it being okay. It, it, it's not necessarily... I, I don't think it would be the best yeah. thing, but it's just like, you know, it would be interesting to see it in a new remake. Because um, I just want to... I, I want to see, like, an experiment of, like, trying to put the very first game into the newest... Well, not the newest um, engine, yeah. but, like, an engine that would help retell the story, <laughs> but just, I like, very, very updated. Yeah. And so now we get to Odyssey. <laughs> um uh, yeah. I was hoping you were gonna describe it a little bit more, but um I'll, I mean I'll, I can. I'll, you you cut me off before I could talk about it. <laughs> Well I mean you okay. Let, let real talk for a second. <laughs> you yeah. you're like, yeah, so Odyssey. That's basically all you gave. I'm just like I'm waiting here for. The well, I was like trying to like I was like trying to pull the shit out of my head. Like, oh shit, what am I gonna start with? Uh, well, uh, okay. and then the ending. <laughs> okay. Um, well, continue on. Because I, I watched the I watched the E3 shit. Um. It. I don't know. I, I am skeptical. I, I will admit that. But I always try to keep like in the middle ground because you know overhype and underhype can both equally kill your experience of a game right. and. Um. I, I mean, we got Cassandra, so that's a, that's already a plus. <laughs> explain, explain Cassandra. Uh, well, the at the beginning of the game, like when you start up your game, you choose which character. They're they're just gender bends of each other. Like like I I I thought. Like, people had told me that it was like two different stories, but like no, the the guys at Ubisoft during the demo they said. That they're both the exact same story. They're just gender bends of each other. Um, so you got Alexios and Cassandra. Um, <laughs> and uh, you choose which one you start. It, it's I I heard it, it's it's Mass Effect in ancient Greece. Is I know what I that's, that's, that's what it. I was thinking when you when you said it. I'm just like. <laughs> Am I am I going am I going to synthesize with a bunch of people at the end of this game? Am I going to save everybody from a mechanical race um, of aliens? And uh, it's set during the Peloponnesian Wars. Um, it's the strong do what they can, the weak do what they must. <laughs> exactly. It um it seems like. Now I, I've not I've not heard this confirmed or denied. It's just kind of based on what I've seen. But it seems like your night out. Ah, oh, I just cracked my fucking leg. <laughs> um, it seems like you're not an assassin or templar or anything. Like I could be wrong. It could just be a matter of like you 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 join the assassins at a later point in the game. But like it seems like you're just a mercenary. Like you're just a neutral mercenary. And the whole story just happens to be set in the Assassin's Creed universe. Like, you may or may not run into different branches of the Order or something like that. Because like, I, I know there's, like, those occultists as the villains we heard about. Right. Um, so that's probably going to have something to do with it, I imagine. Um, yeah, I... I get the feeling they're going to they're going to explain the multiple choices system, and I imagine it's going to be based off of what we talked about in the last podcast. Because mm-hmm. um, <laughs> Layla's coming back, we know that she was in the trailer. Um, or as I, refer, back... as I referred to her in either last episode <laughs> or whatever, the modern day person with the big butt. Yes. <laughs> um, 
the every I lo- everyone is losing their shit over the Minotaur that was shown at the end of the trailer in the exact same way we lost our shit over the snake from the origin trailer. <laughs> just it's just like guys, you know they're gonna explain this. They explain the snake. They won't just what do go you, full wait, What do you mean by lose their shit? Are you talking about like, whoa, or like, whoa? What? Yeah, yeah the, the second one. The, like, oh, what is it? Is it fantasy now? Is it full up fantasy? Wait, They're just going to pull it bullshit? Shit over a snake? <laughs> well, do you, you rem- you, do you remember? Do you remember the giant snake, right? Before that oh, was explained? now I know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about like the trailer with the snake. No, no, no. no. I mean like the, the, giant, the giant snake. snake. Oh. Okay. Well, and here, it, so was in, my it was in the exact. For everybody who's freaking out about the Minotaur, one that giant snake. Yeah, you're right. And two, have you ever played this DLC known as <laughs> Curse of the Pharaohs? Well, the snake at least was drugs. So I mean, that was explained. Well, yeah, that that was explained. The one thing that's not been explained yet is Curse of the Pharaohs. Just oh uh, yeah, z- zombie mu- zombie mummies. You know, yeah, you know, you know <laughs> the, the DLC that could have been explained with a setup that was explained maybe it's in, all like, j- maybe. Books. But then Maybe they decided it's... it was not canon, and then they decided to fa- to do this without the canon canonicity of the Ankh of Isis. But of course, they had to make that non-canon anymore. So well, the Ankh of Isis is canon. I th- okay, I okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Ankh of Isis was in Project Legacy, and it was also in uh, or no, not Project. It, like, it was one of those other weird side things that don't exist anymore Identity? for sad reasons. <laughs> no, it was the the data. Dump scanner thingy, I think. Okay. I, I, it, it was I, I like, thought I, I thought I remembered you saying that the Ankavisis was not canon anymore. No, no, no. In the uh, the comics, the modern day is not canon, but the historical stuff is. So like Achilles, like Achilles oh. was even mentioned in Achilles was even mentioned in, in Assassin's Creed Three. So yeah, the, the historical parts are canon, but the the modern parts are not. Okay. Because like the Ankavisis was also mentioned in. Uh, the data dump scanner thing, where it's like during the plague, there was a group of Templars trying to find it in order to like gain influence over the the sick people mm. in Germany, and and there was this one German assassin who was trying to stop them, and then suddenly they all just disappeared randomly and mysteriously. Well, still <laughs> they haven't given an explanation for Curse of the Pharaohs, so we're we're waiting on maybe, that. Maybe maybe the underworlds are. A simulation within a simulation within oh, a simulation. Oh, the game is a game, and the game is figuring <laughs> out it's a game. <laughs> I every time I every time I think about that, the only thing that I can think of is that flex tape it episode Lucy's John Tron it. did. That John Tron did. It's like, oh look, the water's going into a bucket and it's being a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Yeah, I imagine that's gonna play. In- yeah, the Minotaur. It, it literally is the exact same format as the snake thing in Origins. Like you know how in the Origins Origins trailer you had like it, like it ended with like Bayek was in the dark room and then suddenly giant snake. Oh shit! Cut to black. It's the exact same format here in Odyssey, where it's like you have Cassandra with a torch, like looking like walking into a cave. You hear like this snort, and then just suddenly horns rise from the darkness and cut the black. And it's like oh shit. Wait, wait, hang <laughs> and, on a second. I, I need to point out something. So this, you said that this, um, this Assassin's Creed is made by the same team that made Syndicate. Uh, that's what I've heard. Yeah. Okay. And Syndicate was because like it, after... bega- it began development right after Syndicate got released. Okay. So, and if and if my understanding is correct, yes, Syndicate is technically just Unity, but in Victorian era London without the co-op and with two characters instead of one, correct? Yeah. <laughs> what is this team called? Do what? Like, like like do they have a specific name like team oh, something? I think it was Ubisoft. I I want to say it was Toronto, but I know I'm going to be wrong about that. <laughs> okay. So, here's an idea. Yeah. Ubisoft copy and paste. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just, just go. Ahead, just copy and paste the setting too. Just make it Victorian. Just make it these two ancient Greek dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You also don't have a hidden blade in Odyssey. 
Um, like yeah, like the, like they straight they straight up said like throughout the whole game you don't get a hidden blade. Uh, your your, ma- your main assassination weapon is this Isu spear thing, that was like owned by Leonidas, who your protagonist is apparently like the granddaughter of I. <laughs> Spartans, let's start this. Show this petty officer who's the heart. Sorry. Um. <laughs> As Sparta, and you said, and, and the hidden blade you said does in fact exist. Yeah, it, it, this time. it exists. It was invented. Well, we don't, we don't know like when it was invented. We just know it was first used in 465 BC in order to kill Xerxes. Wait, so it killed the Persian king that Leonidas fought? Yes. So why is it not? I don't think, because I don't think you're an assassin, or a, I think you're just some Joe Schmo. Well, I mean, if you join the assassins. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, I, I guess mean, what? I don't know if it's even standardized. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So this whole ancient Assassin's Creed type deal is just like, eh, I don't know if that'll work. Mm, I don't know if this will work or anything like that. Uh, I don't know. Um, eh, well, maybe. Yeah, How about, I don't want to mm, see. No, maybe. So- Soc- Socrates is in there, so that's cool. Get some Socrates Agi sass. Aji was, was just tossing a shit in the in the meme held chat about like, <laughs> why do they have Socrates, the most controversial character in all of history? And I'm just like, have you ever heard of a man called Donald Trump or Adolf Hitler? <laughs> Or, um... <laughs> I fucking love Socrates. Socrates was a sarcastic asshole right up to his execution. When his, like when he when he was in prison, his friends like came along to try and bust him out, and he's like, "Why would I bust out? They give me awesome food here." <laughs> he was just an, he he just gave zero shits about anything. He he was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love Socrates. I I can't wait to see his sass. In game, I, um, I, I don't, I don't know how this game is gonna go. I honestly don't. This is, I mean, yeah. like, like I said, I've been skeptical about all the previous games, but this yeah. one, I'm, I'm kind of not like I'm more iffy on than anything else. Like, I mean, I was iffy yeah. on Origins, just because of everything we heard about with ha- yeah. what time it was, and then you know us putting the pieces together of the Hidden Blade and everything like that, yeah. and then uh, the storyline of you know involving Cleopatra and wondering how. Aya was going to become Amunet and everything like that, and kind of yeah. funky how it happened, but I mean, still. Yeah. Um. But now, this one I'm just very skeptical about, especially with that whole idea of the uh, of the being able to make the choice, but I mean, I guess that kind of fits into the... Yeah, um, it fits into the theory. Fits into the theory. Because if that's the <laughs> theory, then this, this whole entire storyline was already figured out yeah, it's figured out faster <laughs> than the theorizers with the FNAF storyline. <laughs> this whole time, Blobby <laughs> was the purple man. <laughs> Ubisoft um, kind, of, kind of forgot how to be cryptic with everything. They forgot how to hide <laughs> hide a lot more stuff in here, and then like yeah, give us glitches and uh, like that. I, I was, you that, was a, that was one there... more thing I need to. That's one more thing. Okay. I need, I'm sorry. I, I'll, this is the last time I cut you, you off. Yeah, the you one go for thing it. I was hoping was the fact that since this was in ancient Egypt and you know hieroglyphics and everything like that, all these different symbols and the fact that in Syndicate, Juno mentioned something about Desmond being in the gray and that he was still alive and everything yeah. like that. What if you know? I don't know. Since <laughs> Layla's using a. Animus that if, uses the. What if Abstergo we actually follow up on what we established? The, the Abstergo <laughs> systems and most likely was ba- was like yeah. uses the cloud or the servers of Abstergo where Juno is in, <laughs> and subsequently, most likely Desmond. Juno is in got completely cut from the game from from Origins. That's true. Like, like, why, they, why, why, but what I'm getting at is why couldn't well, remember, there have been something like well, where the, tri- the trials of the gods, a... the trials of the gods battles were, were originally planned to be battles against Juno. Originally. Yeah, like the concept art of the trials of the gods, it has like this giant looming, like, uh, Juno-esque glitch monster. And the the title of it is like Juno battle. 
hmm. or like Juno missions, and that turned into Trials of the Gods instead. So well, they literally what, cut her out of it. But what I'm getting at is with a with a game that's set in a in a civilization that highly uses symbols as a communication. And the yeah. fact that Desmond could literally pull a Subject 16 and start communicating to somebody <laughs> through the Animus. Yeah. I was so hoping that there was going to be, like, hieroglyphics or random symbols in certain places and we would be getting those puzzles again. I mean, yeah. we got kind of close with Unity where you had to do the whole... Oh, um... uh, yeah. Those were kind of cheap, though. Those were they, of... they were kind of cheap. They were just, those like, were riddles. And then they're like, this is a tour perfect. of France, but here's the... Here's here's this. I hated those symbol missions, by the way, because like the riddles require require you to know very specific facts about shit. Yeah. In order, because like, I remember one, it was about like, like it was talking about like rose colored bullshit or whatever, and it's like uh, I couldn't figure it out, and I had to look it up. It's like, oh, it's in Notre Dame because Notre Dame is famous for its rose tinted windows. I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I really want glyphs back. That was like probably yeah. one of my favorite things about Assassin's Creed ever. They seem to be I love doing fig- heavy. I, I love figuring out shit. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I put cryptic sh- ship in the in one of my stories. <laughs> Which one? In a Cinderfall in the description on the on my DVD. I might do this for. I might find a way to do this on Amino too, but like on my DeviantArt, in the little description section underneath each chapter, I have like little uh, lines of binary. Oh. And uh, there's also like some uh, base 64 shit or. I do know. Morse code, actually. Hmm. Yeah. I uh, I I did for a time with Retribution. I don't know if I'll continue doing it. Um. Because I need to figure out how exactly I'm going to go on. Because I stopped doing Retribution, and then I started doing Living Nights, and then I stopped doing Living Nights. And then I did these audio transcripts, and I stopped doing the audio transcripts. But I want to get back to Retribution, because every single chapter in Retribution, I've hidden a little like message or code or something like that to give hints on what exactly is happening in my whole storyline. Um, yeah. And I know I talked about that with you. Um, but I mean, I was hoping people would start... Would, pick up on it and i was hoping people were going to start saying something about it and then that would drive me to continue making retribution but it just never happened (laughs) (laughs) yeah so all you podcast listeners out there (laughs) the four or three chapters of retribution i've hidden little things in there figure it out for yourself and if you start doing that then yeah i I put put like little cryptic easter eggs and like the pictures i draw from my chapters so what were you about to say after i cut you off again (laughs) I was go- you- I can't. I can't remember now. I know. <laughs> um, like, do you even we ta- remember? We were talking about origins, and then right. I got on to. Uh, I, they they seem to be focusing a lot more on the mythos, like ancient Greek mythos stuff. So, like, I assume that means we're gonna get some Isu shit, which I assume also means more cryptic shit. But I don't know. Oh, I'm just hoping there would be more cryptic stuff. <laughs> you like you like cut open the Minotaur, and there's just like a little post-it note with like some cryptic signs on <laughs> on his stomach or something. <laughs> it's like that note is like on binary, and you put it in, and then subscribe the note... to Bobby Gobster. <laughs> <laughs> the note's just like a uh, a grocery list for one of the interns. <laughs> and then they didn't even remember it because they completely forgot that they were supposed to put something like that in there. And then the real message is patched into there and it just says, Ooh, Juno, scary. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky. Uh, um, uh, uh, I miss uh, the old days. I miss the old days. <laughs> Assassin's uh, Creed used to be more mysterious, and we would have to look at stuff in order to figure out. I miss the good old. I miss the good old days when Assassin's Creed wasn't God of War. That <laughs> 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 is true. Maybe this time we can actually fight Juno instead of just getting bullshit. Because <laughs> now they have no excuse. Because it's the Greek gods. <laughs> but 
Juno in uh, I, love... I think Juno is Mara Hera Hera thank you yeah same difference <laughs> and, and Hera is the goddess of the hearth and home right uh I remember she's the god of marriage and peacocks that's the only one I can remember I, th- I think Hera is the goddess of home and hearth and she might or like that. They, they, for, they for a all, goddess of home and hearth she's yeah. not very homely and yeah, I was gonna family say. oriented <laughs> and then there's Minerva well, to, be fair, her, to be fair her husband is always cheating on her <laughs> wait really Aida well, no I meant like in the actual mythology okay I was Zeus. about to be like so Zeus Zeus the pity party six about Aida the story, <laughs> the story about Aida is actually in fact just to do cover you, up for a murder. Do you think a full Isu game would work? Like, you actually are... Well, yeah, like, like a whole game strictly set in the Isu era. I don't know. Because the Isu era is also like Star Wars. We're a long time ago in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. We're in the future, yeah. but it's in the past. So there would be like lasers and shit, and I don't know about that. Yeah. But I mean, then again, I have I have um, voiced my opinion that after I played <coughs> Origins, I had a feeling like the a whole like game set during World War One would yeah. actually make sense and would actually be able to be played, given yeah. like how exactly uh, the the combat system of this game is worked out. Yeah, because the bow and arrows. I mean, you you don't utilize them, and a lot of people have bows and arrows and everything like that. But um, I mean, just replace it. Just replace it with a gun. <laughs> yeah, like they don't have to make it like a third person shooter. Yeah, you that, have the that's always the that's guns. always the argument people give me when they're like, "Oh, World War the World Wars wouldn't work for Assassin's Creed because then it's just going to be Call of Duty shooting them up, MLG Pro." It's like, no, because. That's not what a, because <laughs> like it, World War Two was not just shooting people up in in the on D Day, like that's all media depicts it as, but like I I know if Ubisoft sat down and like planned out a World War Two one, you would have cities like you know, you'd have Berlin and you'd have like all the. Uh, you you could like liberate concentration camps and shit, and like you could climb around all those. You in Stalingrad, you'd have the stealth ax- aspect of everything. Yeah, you would still have guns, but I mean, AC three had guns. It's not like that was completely different. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you also have to remember, uh, with World War One, a lot of it was focused on the new tech of killing people. Better. Yeah. And I mean, that was also the time when machine guns and bolt action rifles were coming into yeah. play. And that's like, I mean, there was the puckle gun that existed that was like the, f- like, like, e- e- even back in like, in, in the 18th century, there were still machine guns. It was just a yeah, very early Gatling. concept of Gatling guns gun. and shit. Well, no, 18th century, not 19th century. Right. I'm talking about like the puckle gun. The puckle gun was basically the... Yeah. For well, not the V first, but it was it, it like, was the it was the precursor to it. It was yeah, it was the precursor to the actual machine gun. I make um, my own guns, <laughs> but um, but this one, you know, it's like since metal like bullet casings came out um during the Civil War, yeah, and they started being incorporated in all the weapons. It's a lot easier to get more rounds off before uh, after reload and everything like that. So. I mean, it is it is a very justifiable concern. However, yeah. you can also regulate that by yeah. like leveling down the um, times when you would use a gun more often when you yeah. wouldn't use a gun more often. Because the way I, I think it would be is like y- they would have this ginormous like they they'll have like a couple of like different locations that they can go to um or or have a map as big as like origins where on one side of the map they, would they, be they just if, modeled the world <laughs> <laughs> one side of the map would be the whole entire trench war trench warfare thing yeah and everybody would be that's where most of the gunplay would be going on but then you would also have the villages and everything like that the towns yeah 
where most where most of the like knife play and the stealth oriented stuff would happen and you could still make a game with that yeah i mean world war one was I, world war one may may be more focused on like the combat that happened during the yeah. war with all the poison gas and everything like that but there was still a bunch of stuff that happened with civilians as well that you could definitely make into an assassin's creed game yeah. I, don't, I don't see i don't see i don't see a big issue of making it but i mean there is that concern of making it into a, yeah. a shooter rather than a action adventure. I, 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 I feel like there's a way to make a good balance yeah um and especially yeah. with the whole entire combat system that was introduced in origins i feel like it would be able to yeah. be made yeah i, I feel that <clears throat> so um the next Assassin's Creed game is going to take place in the future. Oh, no. Do you mean <laughs> our future or the past future? Yes. Ah, oh, sand. <laughs> sand. Everyone's going to live on Saturn. Sand. 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 All right, well, it's about time to wrap up. Oh. Um, <laughs> any closing thoughts with anything? Um... This is smart. <laughs> <laughs> Good, whatever. Um. <laughs> so, closing thoughts for me. Um, I don't know what to expect with Odyssey. Um, I mean, with any game that I am wanting to get or I'm planning on getting, actually, any game really. I don't really pay that much attention anymore to the promos or anything like that. Um, yeah. well, any sort of me, I should say, even movies, because I don't want anything spoiled. Well, I mean, I should yeah. say I don't want anything spoiled, uh, because I don't care about spoilers. I'm a very <laughs> weird person. <laughs> Let me start over. I'm very. Hi, I'm Bobby Gobster. I, I, <laughs> I'm your head leader. Um, <laughs> I don't pay that much attention to anything. Um, yeah. with the release times and the content that's going to be in the game i mean i'll hear from it and of course we had to talk about it today yeah. but i won't look that much farther into the aesthetics or anything like that because i don't want to overhype and i don't want to underhype anything really um because then it, it, like a lot of people a lot of things that happen uh with game releases and movie releases today is that you either through a whole trailer you already get a full synopsis of what it looks like and what it's going to be and everything like that. Um, either that or you just, you get this, all this information and it's like, it's, it's like they'll tell you what to expect in the game. Yeah. But they won't tell you how they will present it. Yeah. And so you can either overhype it and it'll be just destructive to how you think of the game. Yeah. Or it'll be, you know, underhyped. And then, I mean, well, it'll be underhyped and then it'll be like, what is this? I wasn't <laughs> wanting this. <laughs> um, yeah. I kind of, I, I just, I mean, you, you're most likely like this too. A lot of people are like this now. Where it will yeah. just go in blind and then with like a, as much, I, I try, and it's an, as much as an innocent view as we can on it, yeah. And then come out on like a mediator level of, yeah. Without like learning about stuff, like without learning the, I'll um, like look at the basics of like, of the everything. game itself. So like I like like oh this is the general synopsis and this is the this is the mechanics and stuff. I'm like okay that's fair, and then and then everything else I just stay in the middle with that with just that raw information and then. I can go into the game itself and then analyze the big shit. Right, yeah. Because uh, the first game I did that with, I want to say it was... I want to say it was Unity. Pong. No, it wasn't Unity. <laughs> first game that I did that with was Battlefield 4, actually. I know it's not Assassin's Creed related. I'm yeah. sorry. Mom. Um, Fans. <laughs> delete Savino. Uh, <laughs> delete Savino. Sad. Um... <laughs> It was it was Battlefield Four. Um, I didn't know the setting. I didn't know what to ex expect of the game other than uh, the whole entire levolution thing, where you're able to cause massive destruction yourself with like one object on the map, like that, like a giant building on one map. 
That's yeah. all I knew. I didn't know what else to expect from there. Like, I didn't know what weapons they're going to include in the game and everything. And, I was, and a lot of people really hyped up the game, and then it was sort of disappointing for them. But for me, it was probably one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Yeah. So yep. I try to you know, start approaching anything with that mindset of I don't want to overhype or underhype anything. If I hear yep. games coming out, cool. Another game to look forward to, most likely. Um, I mean, I, I know I did joke around earlier about, you know, oh, I'm going to call it Odyssey, not Assassin's Creed Odyssey, because you're not an assassin <laughs> or a Templar. Um, I mean, it's part of the Assassin's Creed yeah. franchise. But, like I said, I mean, I already know some stuff about it, but I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Honestly. So, and that's we'll okay. Have to... <laughs> exactly. We'll have it's to... okay not to know people. <laughs> I do want to apologize one more time. Uh, once, though, during this whole podcast, you may have heard a <laughs> bloop sound. Um, <laughs> most likely, that is one of our friends constantly messaging us, trying to get our attention, even though that we're in the middle of something. Um, Carter, it's H, if you know who H is. Um, <laughs> and I just so. I on mute. <laughs> but I'm using a computer. Uh-huh. So I apologize for that. I can't edit that out. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll get that solved. But um, other than that, nothing really much that I can yeah. think of right now. Yeah. Um, next podcast might be a little different than what you're used to. Um if, are we are we getting Steve on Hassle Horror? <laughs> no. I, I I'll talk I'll talk to you after this. Okay. So either next podcast will be <clears throat> normal podcast or next podcast will be very interesting. So guys, I'm scared. Save me. Until then, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in, and Help. we Help. will. Help. Oh. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. (laughs) Choke the neck, choke the neck. (laughs) Strangle him with one of his blouses.